Okay, what's going on guys? Gitchy1230 here, back with day two of the Axial X SCX10 build. Uh, what we are building, just in case anybody here is unfamiliar with what's going on, we are building a 4x4 RC crawler, the Axial SCX10 II. And so uh, we started on it yesterday. Yesterday we did the unboxing, we started the build, all that good stuff, and we actually didn't get too much done. All we got done were these two differentials here. So these things are done, ready to go. They were really fun to put together. And uh, now that I kind of have a feel for how this stuff goes, I think today will be, you know, a little bit more progress. Uh, I'm pretty unfamiliar with RC trucks and models and things like that. I don't usually do things like this. But uh, I've had a lot of fun with it so far, so I think today should be good. So what is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Oh, my laptop screen's, like, getting lighter and darker. That's weird. Uh, Vicky, Max, Mark, uh, Mr. Johansson, Vincent, what is up? Elijah, Jeff. Guys, welcome. Tyler, thanks for subbing. Guys, we're not going to waste any time. I do just kind of want to jump right into it and get as much done today as possible. Uh, we're probably going to be streaming for about two hours today, so let's see how this goes. Max, thanks for subbing. Dalton, what is up? Mark Gresh, how you doing? David Caden, Pickle Rick. Pickle, no problem, dude. I saw yesterday your comment on the video that you missed it. Not a problem. You're here today. So let's hop right into it, guys. Um, as usual, I will be looking at the chat as much as possible, but also trying to focus here. Uh, how much does this car cost? The kit alone is 350 After all the electronics that I bought, it's going to be a $550, $600 truck. Uh, Alright, so let's hop right into it. Yesterday we knocked out steps one and two. Today we we're picking up on step three here. So, uh, as I understand it, both of these differentials are identical. So it doesn't matter which one we turn into the front. We're gonna have a front one, and of course we will have a rear. I don't think it matters which one is which, so let's just uh, pick one of them. Correct me if I'm wrong though. And so the parts that we need here are all listed here on the side. So let's take out our... Hey, this part number is AXA1230. Yeah! <laughs> 1230, baby. All right, so let's take out these 1230 washers. Ugh. All right, that's way too many washers. I did not need all those. <laughs> let's put these little guys back in. Or actually, wait, no, I think we need the little guys. We need the 1230s. We need two of those. And we also need two of the 1221s. And then here, I don't really know. What are these? What are these rectangles it's showing here? Is that just for. I don't know why that's showing that. Because I don't think they mattered yesterday over here. Right? Yo, Pickle Rick. Awesome. I forgot that you had one of these. I'm so excited to have this thing done. This is going to be amazing. I'm going to be driving it around the house, outside, everywhere. Lastly, let's go over to our screw bag. And so this is the first screw that we're using that is not a flat top. If you look at that picture there, you can see that it is a rounded top. So that makes it a little bit easier to differentiate from the rest of them. Uh, I think it looks like it should be this one. I think, I think. And then the other one should be identical to it and there's a couple more round tops but we don't need three of them they look to all be identical so let's just take out those two and then over here in this department we have our what are these drive shafts or axle assembly something like that um, so it looks like we have two of the Two of the same parts, I believe. We have the AX31402, 31402. And then farther down, we're going to need a few more things here. Um, this page might be a little more confusing than yesterday. This might be just a tad more confusing than yesterday, but let's find out. Uh, okay, so it looks like we need this guy. And we need... this guy. So these things are identical. Oh, that's so satisfying to spin already. I don't know what it is. These these metal parts just feel like really good quality and it's just kind of cool to see how it all works in person, you know, to, to actually put it together yourself and gain an understanding for it. Pretty sweet. What tires am I putting on this thing? Uh, for now, I'm just going to be doing the stock tires that come with it. 
But I am going to be buying the uh, Predator tracks as well for the snow, for the mud, whatever. I want to slap some tracks on this thing occasionally. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hop to it here. Oh, wait, actually, okay, shows that we still need more parts here. For some reason, it doesn't show these parts over here on the sidebar, but it does show it here. The AX31381, which I think... Okay, AX31381, is that it? Yes. Okay, so... Alright, looks like this piece is this one, and then maybe... AX313812... I think it's this one. The only thing that confuses me here is, uh, if you look at these parts numbers, on the manual it shows that they are both AX31, uh, whatever. It shows that they're the same number, but here on the plastic molding, it shows that they have completely different numbers. Uh, I don't know, though. I, I think this must be, this must be right. I don't know. Yo, Redneck, awesome, uh, the awesome HD, what is up, dude? Welcome. Uh, Alright, so let's get these things broken off of the parts tree. Is that what these things are called? Parts tree? I think so. Yo, Isaac, welcome back. How are the wings? They were delicious. I had like half of them yesterday and then I ate the second half today left over for lunch. They were awesome. They were great. Um... Alright, so I don't know why these parts are on here. If you notice, this little nub here, why is that there? Maybe, I guess it was just probably necessary for the molding? I don't know. Just seems like a silly thing to have on there. Uh, we do break that off, don't we? Yes. Yes, we do break it off. Alright, so that'll go over there. Let's break off this one. And these are both numbered, right? We have one and we have two. Okay, good. Uh, now I'm gonna take the file to these real quick. I love America. What is up? You said you have the same crawler. It's pretty sick. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I'm so pumped. All right. Uh, let's file these down just real quick. Where did that break off the parts tree? Here we've got a little bit of uh, roughness. Uh, still a little jagged. That's good enough, and over here we have this little nub from where we broke off the other little nub. Come on now. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not want to overfile. I don't think that'll happen though. But I do need to be careful. Once you file plastic away, guess what? You're not bringing it back. It is gone. Um, there's still a little bit more of a nub on there. Alright, that might be... Oh, these nubs take a long time to file down. I don't know if it's because the plastic is actually, like, hard quality plastic, but it, it doesn't file quickly, which I guess is a good thing. Because if it files quickly, that probably means it'll wear quickly. So, it's good to see that it's pretty durable. Okay, good enough on that one. Uh, oh, this one doesn't really even have a nub. Nice. Maybe a tiny one. I think that's actually good enough. And over on this side, let's just file this thing down a little bit. Okay, good enough, good enough. I, I can't spend 19 hours being a total perfectionist about this. We do need to keep on moving. Georgia Boy, what is up? Christy, welcome. Uh, okay, so we have, I think, just about everything, right? This is, hold on. I was taking a look at this last night, and it was making me a little bit confused here, so... This thing is this piece, and this one is this piece, but what are these? These don't give me... 
Let me see. I gotta look in my bag here. Okay. I think these right and left here are these two things on here. Let's check the numbers. AX31382. Yep. And 832, yep. Okay, so let's break these off the tree as well. Jaden, you said you're still working on yours too. Nice. You enjoying it so far? I wonder how many hours this is gonna take me total. You know, it might be it might be quite a few. I'm thinking this whole thing, uh, especially being distracted by the fact that I'm live streaming, you know, like if I weren't streaming this, I'm sure it'd come together quicker, but I would much rather be streaming it for you guys. Okay. Mm, pretty good, pretty good. Alright, alright. Is this thing numbered? Uh, it says... Looks like it says one, maybe right here. I gotta make sure I'm not putting my head in the camera. <laughs> I don't think I am. And then this one... Does it also say one? Hold on, how am I gonna know which one's which here? All right, one more little nub here. Okay. Okay. All right. I think I think we have everything that we need now out here and ready to go. Michael, what's up? Lane, how's it going? Dipper. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Braver you as well. What am I building? Uh, take a look at the thumbnail, and that's what I am building. So, it's a, it's an RC Jeep crawler. You know, you know. Uh, so, let me see. These pieces are similar, but different. Okay, duh. <laughs> I was like, how am I supposed to tell these pieces apart? There's a very big difference here. This piece has that, uh, you know, the one on the left has that thing on top. This one... That's all missing. <laughs> I didn't notice that at first. I was like, how, how am I going to know which one's which? Okay. We are officially ready to go with everything on this page, I think. So let's hop to it. All right. So let's take our differential here. And what does it show we're going to be doing first? Actually, <clears throat> maybe we should take our, um, our axle here first. So these are identical, correct? Yes. Yes, they are identical. All right, so it doesn't matter which one we take. So we're going to grab this. We're going to grab our 1230 washer, which is right here. And let's turn this the right way. Keep it all oriented properly with the instructions. Trying to make it so you guys can see here also what's going on. Um, all right, so this thing's going to go on here. Ah, uh, nice snug fit. I always love that. When you just slide a part on and you know that like if it was any tighter at all, it wouldn't fit. It's just like as snug as can be. Mm. Alright, um, so the AX31381, this is a one, that's two, okay. Uh, hold on, so these go down here. So this one is number one. You can see here, uh, if anybody here is interested in building one of these one day, some of these parts are numbered. You can see, see that number one there shining in the light? And then on this piece, you can see it actually has a number two molded into it. So they do, they do what they can to kind of minimize your confusion, I think, which is good. So now, okay, I really got to make sure everything's oriented properly here, as I always say. So... This thing goes like this. We got our washer on. Now this looks like it's going to be facing me with the smaller part up top. And it looks like this should just go right here. Let's see. How snug is this? Hmm. Hold on. Something. 
I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try dropping the washer in first. Drop the washer into the hole rather than having it on the uh, part already. There we go. Okay. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but there is like a really nice click there as it just dropped into place. Okay. So now this can go back on here. Oh, also another satisfying click. <clears throat> I love satisfying clicks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then AXA. I don't need to repeat the part number, I guess, every time. 1221. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of doing it for my own convenience here, just to keep all my thoughts straight. So this last washer looks like it'll just go right onto here. Is it going to fit in that hole? Is that really going to fit down in there? Yes, it is. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're falling out. We're falling out. Okay. Nice. Okay, so that's all a, just a really nice snug fit here. Um, everything just barely fits, but like in a good way. It barely fits in the way that you want it to barely fit. <laughs> um, Alright, so that means this thing here is assembled. This is all good. So I'm going to set that aside right up here. And then we're going to pick up our next shaft here. Do what we did last time, orient it all properly, grab our one, two, three, a washer. Instead of putting it on the shaft first, let's drop it into place onto uh, this piece. So, if this goes like this, this washer goes right in here. Come on now. It's got to like fall straight in. If it's falling in crooked at all, it's it'll be too wide to fit. So it's kind of tough to uh, try to drop it in like completely level. This one's having a little bit more trouble going in. Should be okay though. Come on. Come on now. Maybe I can use the shaft to help me push it in. Um, this is the right washer, right? Yes, it has to be. Why is this one so much tighter? Let me make sure this is all right. I, I, it must be. Yeah, so one, two, three, a washer goes right into this hole. It's got to be right. Just fall down into there. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Now it's kind of jammed in there, but not right. Not the right way. Okay, let's try this a different way. Um, it's odd that the first one went together so much more easily. Let's try to put it on the shaft first. All right, there it is, nice and snug on the shaft. This might actually be easier, because this will give me some like basically allow me to aim it and make sure that it's going in nice and straight. Uh, so this is going to go in like so. Okay, I think I think we're in, boys. I think we're in. Christian, what is up? Oh, I do need moderators. I don't see any spam though. I mean, I'm looking right now and I don't really see anybody just like spamming. Let me know though, like point it out if, uh, did I call these washers instead of bearings? I might have said washers, I'm not sure. Okay, so now on this shaft, the 1221 washer right down here. Let's focus here. There it is. Nice. Okay, so that washer is nice and snug in there. Oh, yeah. Coming together nicely. Oh, no. <laughs> and then right as I say that, it falls apart in my hands. Yo, Pineapple, what is up, dude? Welcome to the stream. Hi, bro, I'm talking about you, Gitchy. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, my lord, he's blind? I, you know what? I'm doing my best here. I'm doing what I can. 
Uh, I should just make moderators. It would probably make my job a lot easier. I'm probably going to keep saying washer on accident all stream long. <laughs> I know what washers are, I know what bearings are, but they're both cylindrical and, you know, life's complicated. <laughs> Okay, so let's double check here. This guy, good to go. This guy, good to go. So now, looks like what we want to do is take our differential, and I guess we're going to need two more of these little bearings. And so we're just working down the page here, working from the top down, trying to keep everything nice, simple, organized. So this washer should fit right in this hole. Oh, another snug fit. I love it. Do I like pizza? Who doesn't like pizza? Pizza's great. You are using drive shaft for axle? What do you mean? Did I, did I misspeak? Did I say shaft instead of axle? Where is my coffee? Oh, let's talk about the coffee, guys. If you were here yesterday, you knew that I was drinking some coffee. And then you also saw that about halfway through the stream, I started complaining that, like, my hands were shaking and by the end they were sweating. I think the coffee was a bad idea, guys. Yes, I, I'm not drinking coffee today. It made me, like... Usually I feel fine on coffee, but yesterday for some reason, maybe it was some of the anxiety of getting the build started. I don't know. But yesterday, the coffee did not make me feel good. My hands were just shaking. I couldn't screw the parts in well. It was a wreck. Okay, so drive shaft here. Both washers. Uh, uh, not washers. Um, oh my gosh, I need to stop saying that. I can't even think of the word now. Uh, all right, so we're taking... We have one and two. So how do we tell the difference again here? Oh, right, this one... Okay, it says note direction, will do. So this looks like this, and we're just gonna, hmm. I think I see how this is supposed to work here. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, and we do have the right one. All right, it looks like we just push this onto here. Okay, cool. Wow, that's a nice tight squeeze. Hmm, now, okay, it says note direction. Yeah, this is made so that once it goes on, it cannot turn. So, what does that mean? It looks like it's showing it straight up and down. And then, hmm, this is interesting because if you put it in wrong, it can actually... Okay, wait. Caster needs to be set at 10 degrees. Are these my casters, guys? I think these are the casters, right? Yo, Eli, that's a timeout, my man. I'm sorry, but, like, come on, guys. The rules have been the same for the whole seven years that I've been doing YouTube. Please, no spam. Um, all right, so these are the casters, correct? It doesn't even tell you what they are. I guess it just expects you to know, like... I don't know. Um, so let's look at it from the side. It shows, do not, if you see here, it says no. <laughs> do not set it like this. Set it like that. Okay, so looks like right now I'm set at zero degrees. I'm going to turn it one notch to the... Hmm... That looks better, but I'm still not sure if that's 10 degrees. Let me try looking from the top down. Uh, I don't know, it's really hard to tell what 10 degrees is. I think I'm good. I think I'm good here. Um, unless I still need to turn it one more time, I'm not sure. Would it be this? That might be too much. Or maybe that's... Maybe that's right. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any suggestions here? Yo, Jeep guy, what is up? Welcome. All right, I guess I'm just going to pick an angle here and do my best. Um, 
All right. Yep. We're just we're gonna use common sense here. Uh. I think I gotta turn it one more notch. Just one. Okay. I think that is the 10 degree angle that it wants it to be set at. It's gotta be. That's gotta be. I think so. I, it seems weird that, uh, why do they make it so, like, so many options to for you to set it at? I don't know. <clears throat> okay, guys, come on. Why, why are we fighting in the chat? Like, fighting with people on the internet is the biggest waste of time in the world. We're all here for the same reason, aren't we? We're, we're here to watch me build this thing that I'm struggling to build. No, not struggling too bad, but seriously, come on. There's so much better ways to spend your time than getting in internet flame wars. Alright, so do we need the 2 millimeter? Yes. James, what is up? Tony, thanks for dropping that like. Maria, thanks for subbing. Welcome to the family. I can't really prevent people from cussing. I don't know. I don't know what I could do. Um, okay. I don't want to over tighten. We're going to leave it right about there. Um, I think this all looks correct. I don't know. That angle does look a little weird, but I think... I think that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Um, okay, you know what? Let me see what I can do here. Pickle Rick. Congratulations, Pickle Rick. Congratulations. Onyx, my man. Guess what? Whoa, whoa, chat's scrolling too fast. I can't even click names here. Time out. Time out. Uh, how did it go without me yesterday? Onyx, not too bad. After you left, it, it actually went okay. Onyx, you are now a moderator. Congratulations. And Isaac, you are another trustworthy person. Okay. For, for right now, I just added three moderators. Don't, if, uh, don't, don't feel bad if I didn't appoint you to a mod. I'm not, I'll add more at another time, but right now I just want to stay focused. Just added three people who are regulars here at the stream who I know are trustworthy and not going to be a bad mod. Um, you know. Guys, don't worry. If you're not a mod, one day you might be a mod. I'm not, like I said, I'll add more here. But we don't have that many people right here right now. I don't want 10 mods and like 40 viewers. That's like a bad ratio. Okay. Let's focus back at the task at hand now. We have this guy on. We have that screw in. That's all delicious. Uh, so now at this end we have this little washer. Or not washer. And what what is the word again? I'm having like the biggest brain fart. What about Jeep Guy? Jeep Guy should probably be a mod, too. Jeep Guy helps me out a lot. Ugh. I feel so bad to turn people down for moderators, but here's the thing, guys. It defeats the purpose of having moderators if you make everybody a moderator, you know? Um, I hate that I have to pick and choose between you guys, but I guess it's just the way that it is. Okay, so... This guy should go right on. I guess this is going to be set at the same 10 degree angle. Um, man, I hope this is 10 degrees. It's, it's really tough to tell. I think those are matching. If it's not 10 degrees, I'm going to have to like take some of this stuff apart. Hopefully it's not too much. Bearing! Bearing, 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 bearing. That's right. Okay. <sighs> Oh boy. Yeah, uh, message to my moderators, guys. Don't straight up ban anybody. I don't know if that gives you the power to ban, but don't straight up ban anybody unless I explicitly request it. Uh, for now, just do like timeouts. I don't really want any of these to be permanent. I always want to give people a second chance and give them a chance to reform. Uh, yo, Expert Gamer, what is up, dude? How many RC builds are you going to do? Uh, well, this is going to be the only one for a little while. Farther down the road, I might like to do almost like a drifter build. Um, I think there's a trailer that I'm going to have to assemble. So I could uh, I could live stream myself building the trailer as well. Um, I wish I could show you guys this on camera and get your opinions as to whether or not it looks like I did it right. 
Let me look one more time, just compared to the picture. I think I think we're good. And if not, whatever. We just got to take out a couple screws and then adjust it. It's not a big deal. I think I need to take a chill pill. Okay. That's pretty tight. That is pretty tight. Please play Mudrunner. Don't worry. We've got more Mudrunner coming. Um, just not today. <laughs> Marissa, thanks for subbing and dropping that like. Welcome to the family. Okay, so let me double check this for the final time. Um... Hmm, okay. Okay, I think, I think, uh... Oh, I don't know, that might be past 10 degrees. Guys, let me see if I can show you this picture here, like what we're looking at. Um, so here's the same perspective of both things. Here's the picture showing you the 10 degree angle that needs to be set at. And here's what I have. Um... Uh, sorry to tell, but it looks like maybe it's overturned a little bit and it might need to come back just one notch. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just wish I uh, made it a little bit more clear so that you didn't have to be guessing. If I match it up top down, it definitely looks like... Uh, I think it's too far. I think it's too far. Oh boy, do I fix it right now, or what do we do next on the next page? Alright, so assuming these are correct, that would make this page done if this is all right. If it's not right, we'd have to go back. Uh, so let's see what we're doing next here. We're taking these two things that we assembled here and attaching them to our differential setup. And... So right and left. And so what? This thing goes deep down into this hole. I see, I see. So it goes way down in here. What are you guys saying here in the chat? Um, <laughs> yeah, see, I feel like the chat got worse. I appointed mods, and now the chat is worse than it was before, somehow. Uh, Jesse, what is up? Braver, thanks for dropping that like. Um, I might as well fix my angle right now, because uh, I think I definitely set it too far. Let me look one final time. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's got to be. There's no way that that is how it's supposed to be. No way. I want to screw this as few times as possible because we're dealing with plastic threads and any time that you're dealing with plastic threads you know just try to do it once hey Gitchy, what are you gonna do with this car I've got a lot of plans I plan to make a lot of videos of it everything from just general off-roading mudding uh, to hauling I'm buying a trailer for it so maybe hauling a trailer through the mud hauling logs I plan to buy a winch for it even maybe a snow plow basically anything we can think of. Um, what I kinda wanna do is take the videos that I make in Grand Theft Auto V and Mud... Spin Tires Mud Runner, excuse me. I'm kinda burping here. Um, <laughs> and I basically wanna make those videos but in real life with this RC truck. Alright, so I'm gonna take off this caster here and put it to what I think is the 10 degree angle. So... Up it comes micro turn and back down okay that that is the 10 degree angle that looks better I had it one notch too far again I don't know why they give you like 20 notches so that you can customize the angle I guess just so you can build it any way you want uh, the freedoms good but it, it does make it a little bit more confusing Oh boy, you, this this chat's just lit. It's crazy. It's just off the heezy. <laughs> okay, and that is good. All right, do I need to change the other one then? I think so. I think... 
Yeah, this other one also needs changed. I think uh, I put it closer to like a 20 degree angle as opposed to the 10. Um, I'm just glad I noticed now and not in 20 minutes when we would have had to take things all apart. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, good to hear. Have you heard of the TRX Defender Tactical Unit? Um, I think so. I looked up the TRX-4 last night, and the TRX-4 regular version looks like a Jeep. But I did see pictures of one that almost looked like the, um, what's the one vehicle in GTA V? Just like the heavily armored one. Um, I forget what it's called. Well, I can't, I couldn't remember the word bearing earlier either. What's wrong with me? But is that the one you're talking about? Jeep guy, you are going to be the final moderator for today because you helped me in spin tires videos and all that, and I feel like you deserve it. Uh, again, guys, I'll add moderators as they're needed, as they're necessary. Um... I'm not going to base it off favoritism. What I'm going to base my mods off of is, you know, people who are here regularly, people who don't spam, people who are just, like, kind of respectful to others in general, all that good stuff. Okay, so that... Wait, is that... Is that a... Let me see here. Hmm... Oh my gosh, I swear these angles don't match. But they must. I don't know. Why is it so hard to tell? Okay, that... Okay, that looks like 10 degrees for sure. Okay, no. We're, we're moving on. This has got to be right. It's got to be right. And like I said, worst case scenario is we have to backtrack a little bit and adjust it. Yo, Charlie, what is up? Um, I'm going to be streaming till at least 6 o'clock, uh, if not maybe 6.30, who knows? If we're having a great time and time's flying by, maybe I'll go till like 7 o'clock, which would be about two more hours. Okay. All right, we are finally done with step number three, uh, coming together nicely. Yep, all right, cool. Let's turn the page. Feels good to be on a new page. This page was actually getting, like, smudged and dented and dirty. <laughs> we are on a nice, clean new page. Okay, so here we have our front differential, and what we're going to do here is we have our... You guys have kind of a glare, don't you? Let me see if I can prop up this uh, prop up this book so you have less of a glare. That looks a little better. All right, so we have our differential here. How do I know which one is for my right and which one's for my left? I guess I can probably only work one way. Yeah, okay. So this one looks like it can only work if it's on the right. So let's put that here. And this one looks like it can only work if it's on the left, right? Because if it were over here... Yeah. Okay. So that makes this my left. And that my right. Cool. Coming together. Alright, so what are we going to do here? We're basically taking these things and shoving them way down deep into the center of our differential housing, I guess you could call it. And so, screw-wise, ooh, we need a new kind of screw here that we haven't used yet. And another washer. So we need four of these bad boys. Let's pop them out. There are the final four left in the bag. All right. And put those in the middle of the instruction booklet so they don't roll away. So, screw, 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 screw. Where's it? It shows a washer up here, though. What's what's the deal with the washer? Because then... Time out, time out. Where's that washer go? Or I don't even actually see where it shows to 
put the washer. Is that even a, or not a washer, a bearing? Just forget that I keep saying washer. I'm probably going to do that all day. I didn't do it once yesterday, did I? Yo, Onyx, oh my goodness. Wow. I give Onyx a moderator, and Onyx gives me $10. Yeah. No, Onyx, for real, though, thank you so much, dude. It's super appreciated. Uh, I don't even know what to say, man. Thank you so much. Uh, that's super generous. Super, super generous. Yeah, everybody give uh, Onyx a, a round of applause for that one. Clap emojis in the chat, please. Thank you, thank you. Yes, bearing, not washer. Right. Okay, um... Why am I confused here? I don't know what the deal is here. For some reason, it shows this picture of what looks to be a tiny bearing. Or is that the top view of the screw? I have no idea what this little circle is, but it didn't label it. All it shows is four screws, so that's that's all we're going to worry about. Then down here, it does show... Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. I realize what's happening here, guys. This is just a secondary view of the same part. I don't know why they really thought that was necessary, but here's here's the view from the front, here's the view from the side. Here's the view of the uh, screw from the side, here's the view of the screw from the top. Okay. I think. That's, that's my best theory. Okay, so let's move on here. Um, this is kind of interesting to me. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out. You know, I guess these things are just going to go deep down into there and just like fit and it'll just work I don't know this is kind of uh, intriguing to me here so let's take it and okay eventually it does bottom out it does uh, kinda get stuck maybe I need to turn this until it's let in not really hmm because it's bottoming out before we can actually screw it in. Let me see, I gotta use my thinker here. See what I mean? Uh, let me try maybe turning this thing just a little bit and maybe that'll... Let's just try turning this, see if it falls in. Guys, what do you think? Why, uh, do I just need to force it harder? Ah, there it is. When in doubt, force it harder. Okay. <laughs> How many RC trucks are there? I only have, like, one nice one, and it's a uh, Traxxas Stampede, I think. Ah, this is interesting. Okay, cool. So... This goes into here. This should be... Okay. I think we're all good here. I am getting slightly more curious as to how this is all going to function. Because, uh, like I mentioned to you guys before, I'm not a mechanic. You know, I have a, like a basic understanding of how cars work. But, like, some of these finer details, like the functioning of a differential and all that... You know, that's, this is all new stuff to me, so some of this stuff, I'm going through the motions here and not really knowing what to expect. Okay, that screw wasn't going in. Is this another screw that's too big for the hole that we just have to force? Kind of. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, let's see here. Oh uh, boy. Are we are we going in? Okay, there we go. It took a little while to get started, but we are going into the hole. We're going in. How's my eye? Yo, American sniper. Thanks for remembering, dude. Um, that whole eye thing goes down as one of the strangest things that ever happened to me. For like two months, my eye was in pain, it was blurry, and I started taking a vitamin D supplement. Because I read online that if you have a vitamin D deficiency, that it can not only weaken your immune system, 
but it can kind of give you like unhealing wounds. So I thought to myself, okay, well, my eye won't heal. Let's just try this vitamin D. Um, I don't know if it was coincidence or what, but I started taking the vitamin D. And ever since then, my eye is... The weird thing is it's not back to 100%. It's back to about 95%. But I don't think my vision will ever be as good in that eye for the rest of my life. Which is really quite sad. But I guess that's just part of going through life. Is uh, getting older and watching your body deteriorate. <laughs> that's a dark way to put it, isn't it? No, but um, I went to the eye doctor. Even he was confused. He was like, I, I don't really know what else to tell you. He thought it was like an allergic reaction. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's mostly better. Um, how tight are these supposed to be? Probably not too tight. I wish I kind of understood what is going to be moving. Oh, wait, don't tell me I did this wrong. Okay, no. <laughs> uh, you know, so this, this is free to move, but I, I'm curious, like... I don't really know what this stuff's going to be attached to. This is going to be interesting. Um, oh, it's getting hot in my room here. I might have to turn the fan on. Okay. So that looks to be good. It's not as loose as it could be. It takes a little bit of force to move it, but I think that should be fine. Unless, out of curiosity, let me try loosening these a tiny bit. Let me just loosen a tiny, tiny bit. Does that make it easier to move? Yes, it does. So I wonder if I had those too tight. Because I think this should probably be able to move pretty freely. Um, it's just a little looser now. As long as the screws don't ever start to work their way out, that's the only real concern, I guess. All right, nice. So let's see what happens when we turn this. Do we get... Yeah. We are getting movement in our uh, drive shaft here, or whatever. I don't know my auto parts very well. How's Zena doing? She's doing well. I hope she comes over here today and scratches on the door. For the record, I'm not saying this to correct you or whatever, but the spelling of Zena, just so you guys all know for the record, moving on, is X-E-N-A. We could have done it like the Z way, but I thought it was cooler spelled with an X. Okay. So, here we go. Same thing again now. We're going to take this bad boy. And looks like that goes like that. And, okay, so let's just shove them down in there. Just shove them on in. Turn this a little bit. Let it come in. Nice. Okay, that one I didn't need to force in like the other side. That one just nicely went right on in. Okay. We're gonna repeat what we did over on the other side there. We're gonna take these screws here. Oops, sorry, put my head in the shot again. Let me try to let me try to shift everything upward and get more in the shot here. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> there is a tie rod that connects to the other side of the axle, then another control arm that attaches to your steering. Right, okay. I've heard of tie rods before, you know? I've been I've been around long enough to hear a lot of people use the word tie rod, but if I were to try to tell you the purpose of what a tie rod does, I wouldn't be able to. I'm, I'm not really sure. Okay. It's kind of hard to align these holes at the beginning, because, again, I keep saying it, plastic threads metal screws you got to make sure that as you're screwing this stuff in that you know you're you're feeling for it make sure it's not binding make sure things are going in straight because metal screws will destroy plastic threads and stuff if if you're forcing it in a way that it's not made to go but that's just obvious that's common sense hmm let's see here All right, that should line up. I hope it better it needs to. Hmm.
Are we started on it? I think. Think we're think we're in. Get you. I need to tell you something about this. I know he package says. I know the package says it's waterproof. It's not. It's water resistant. I would go submerging it in water. Did you mean to say I would not go submerging it in water? Because you said you would submerge it in water. <laughs> Um, I made sure to get all waterproof electronics though, Pickle Rick. I bought a, uh, a brushless, uh, engine from Holmes Hobbies. I paid them extra money to waterproof it. I got their waterproofed servo, uh, like electronic speed control, all that. So, I mean, this build should be pretty much as waterproof as a build can get, um, I might take some extra steps where, like, I've seen people encase some of the electronic parts in balloons, you know, not a not a blown up balloon, obviously, but a deflated balloon, and like zip tie it off and stuff like that. But as far as waterproofing goes, this build should be pretty darn waterproof. I wanted to make sure that I could take it through the mud and not have any problems. Oh man, this feels like a dream. For some reason, this the side started kind of tight now, or it started tighter, but nice and loose, turns without any resistance. Same thing on this side. We can flick it right back and forth. Nice. Well, I think, uh... Oh, that's upside down. I was going to say, wait a second. <laughs> I was holding it upside down. Got it. Yo, Aaron, what is up, dude? So it's spelled like the city right outside Dayton? Are you, wait, you might not be talking to me. I don't know. It's hard to know when people are talking to me, when people are just talking to each other in the chat. You know. Okay, so let's move on here. Ooh, I'm a slow builder. Between all my worrying and talking and perfectionism, I'm not the fastest. Uh, okay, so this step, done. Screws, screws, boom, 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 bam, done. What's down here? The rear differential. Okay, so... We can set this aside. We're gonna take this one that we built yesterday. And now we gotta go back into our parts bag and we need to pull out a couple of these, both of these things, a few more bearings, a couple more screws. Okay, let's get our uh, axle shafts out of the way here. So there are the axle shafts. We're gonna go into our screw bag here, and we need two of these 117s with the rounded top. That's not the right one. That's the one I was going for. This guy can go back in the bag. And, okay, oh, I got nervous there. I did not see the screw that I needed, and I was like, well, there's that for today. Rear diff will be much easier. Awesome. Onyx, I'm glad to hear that. Am I streaming tomorrow? Yes. We're, we're doing it again tomorrow. I hope that by tomorrow afternoon we can be, mm, you know, making great progress. All right, so this bag's finally empty. Yeah, bag A is sold out. Okay, so I gotta look for these things. Is this one of them? This looks like it's one of them. You can see it's it's got those teeth on the inside. You see those teeth? As it shows in the drawing there. Uh, but this part label or this this part isn't labeled or numbered. It doesn't actually tell me what this is. Uh, let me go and try to find its brother somewhere in this bag here. Got a lot of parts left. Oh, I see him down there. I see him down in the very bottom. Yeah, not the same Jeep guy that plays with Tomcat. For some reason, just the same name, different person. Yo, killed. Welcome to the family, dude. Thanks for subbing. Glad to have you here. Um, yes, right now where I live, I live in Ohio. It is 5.14 p.m. Okay, so rear axle, let's go baby. Are these parts identical? Let's give them a quick look over. They're about as identical as they can be, except 
They're like backwards, so no, they're not identical. So, okay, it looks like... It looks like this one is this piece. Because it's taller... Taller here and shorter here. And that looks like taller there, shorter there. So that would make this one this side. Yep, that all makes sense. Cool. Alright, let's do it. Um, do we have to worry about the caster angle again? I mean, I assume that the angle must be important again. Um, I'm gonna guess, since it doesn't specify an angle... Hmm... Oh wait, what goes first? Oh, do I need to put in my... Um, or maybe it doesn't matter which goes first. Let's find out here. See what I mean about these notches, guys? With all of these notches, there's like a million different choices for the angle that you want to set these parts at. Because there's just a ton of teeth inside of there. So you can really pick like any angle that you desire, which, for someone like me, makes it a little bit more uh, tedious, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's just try... Hmm. I don't know. If it doesn't mention what angle to set it at, I guess I'm just going to assume vertical? You said the axle goes first. You're probably right. Let me see if it works afterwards. Oh, no, it couldn't because... Right, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I see you. All right, so yes. Axle goes first. The axles are identical, so it doesn't matter which. So this guy goes in first. There it is. Nice. Good stuff. And so then after this, we need uh, one, two, two, one bearing. Nice. Down to our final two bearings in the first uh, bearing bag. So let's get those guys out. And so what? This shows to put a bearing at the end of this axle. Nice. I think. Okay. Um, how much did this kit cost? Again, the kit itself was $350, but the kit doesn't come with any electronics. You have to buy your motor separate, your electronic speed control, your remote, everything. So I spent probably another 250 or so, maybe 300 on all the required electronics. So not really a cheap build. I'd say this is a quality build for sure. This is probably about as high of a quality as you could ask for. Um, okay, so axle with the washer on it. So now it looks like uh, this part just goes over over top the axle, or wait a second. Oh no, I turned this thing upside down again. I keep doing that. Okay, so we're actually on this side. Okay, then let's just go from that side then. I need to switch to this part. Okay, once again, it specifies no angle. Am I supposed to assume that I want the same 10 degree angle that we put on the last one, or? Yo, Isaac, we still gotta play some league, dude. I know what you mean. Either I carry or I'm, like, struggling. Maybe that's everybody. Um, Alright, I think I'm just gonna set it like this. I don't know, this looks like it's about the same 10 degree angle that we did last time. Um, or, or I could go straight up and down. No, 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 no. Alright, we're doing that. It's gotta be that. I don't know. The best we can do is uh, use our intuition and go with what seems to be the best choice. Okay, so is that all the way in? I think it is. Looks like it is, so let's put this bearing on this end. Nice, 
And so that means this guy can now go over here, set to the same angle as his brother there on the other end of the this thing. <laughs> differential, I don't know. I'm just calling everything a differential if it has anything to do with this area. <laughs> Okay, I think I think it looks good. It looks pretty good to me. Um, you can kind of... Well, no, it's really hard to make out on camera because these parts are all black. I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, all right. So, what does that mean we have to do next here? That means uh, one screw in each of the bottoms facing upward... And besides that, we did all this. We put our bearings on. We put the axles in. Cool. So these screws are going to be the end of this page. Wow. Already making, I think, better progress than what I actually expected today. Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Hanging on the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm done with school. <laughs> I finally graduated college. Uh... I got a four-year degree, but I took three semesters off, so I was actually going through college for five and a half years total, if you count the time that I took off, and um, I don't know. Some parts, like, sometimes I miss aspects of it, but for the most part, the freedom of not needing to worry about it is so much better than having to go. <laughs> a lot better. Okay, so now this guy's going in next, and once he's screwed in, we are on our way, boys. On our way. Yo, Justin Stone! Welcome to the stream, Justin. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget the engine differential or the transmission differential or the steering wheel differential. Wait, are those all things? Oh, wait. I thought you were joking, but the more I think about it, I think you're right. <laughs> I thought you were just trolling me. I didn't go to college because I'm a slacker loser. That's not true. Not College isn't for everybody. Um, I know a lot of people who did go to college, and I'd say I know like three people who are kind of close friends who went to college, aren't even using their degrees yet, and are at least $10,000 in debt. Uh, yeah, college really isn't necessarily for everybody. I mean, if you're going to go, just make sure you're going to do it right. Don't go and waste your time and not uh, not do it right. Alright, so this is looking good. We've got everything spinning nicely. We can turn this. It's turning everything as it should. And this one, same thing. Cool. So, in that case, that means we can move on from this page to this page. I'm gonna peek ahead here. Nice, okay, so onto the next page, we get to go into the next bag, which is gonna be exciting. What day do you think the build will be done? Killed, that's a really tough question, just because I've never done anything, uh, done anything like this. Um, oh, I gotta stretch, time out. Ugh. Oh yeah, okay, stretch those shoulders. What's my degree in? It is in advertising and public relations. I always saw myself as a self-learned, self-taught. That's how I am, Isaac. Whether it's music or sports or something like that. I'm... Ooh, there's like a hair floating through the air. Whether it's music or sports, I'm a pretty self-taught person myself. Or... Did... I don't know if that sentence that I said just made sense. <laughs> I'm a pretty self-taught person myself. I might have just said the both... Said the same thing both times. Okay, I gotta carry on here. I can hardly formulate a sentence right now. Um, cool. Alright, so let me take some of my water here. Um, when am I gonna end the stream? Maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Alright guys, as much as I'm enjoying the conversation we're having here about college and all this good stuff, it is slowing me down a lot. Uh, Tommy, what is up? Baz, welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, 
If there's anybody new here and you guys are enjoying the stream, please subscribe down below. Usually I play gaming, or like video games, but uh, today we are doing something a little different. Okay, I'm going to focus here for a little while so that we can actually make some progress. So it looks like step six starts with our front differential. As always, keep it all facing the same way as the directions. Keep everything nice and simple. So we need some of these screws here. Eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's this bag here. I'm not going to bother taking them out right now because uh, they'll probably just start rolling all over the place. Um, ah, more noting direction. That's not a good sign. I don't like that. <laughs> Note direction of differential gears. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. This, this is getting a little more confusing now, but let's just uh, hibbity hop to it. Um, where does it show me what these parts are? For some reason, it doesn't tell you what the plastic parts are on the side. I guess it just shows you here, and then it's your job to find them. I guess it's all the same. What does it actually matter? Uh, okay. I don't think those are any of these. Let's pull out another parts tree. Uh, still don't see those on here. And this third one looks to be more of the same thing. Hmm. What about... Okay, I'm on the verge of being very confused if I don't find this part here in one second. If I don't see this part in a second here, I'm going to be a little uh, little on edge here. Um, I mean, it's not in the bag. It's not on this part's tree. Did I miss anything that said to open a new bag or anything like that? AX31384. Hmm. Um. Oh, is that what these red things are? I think I found what we're looking for. I think I found what we're looking for. The final parts that I had away from the rest of everything else. Still attached to the parts tree here. Um. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. So these bad boys need to break off of here. Hopefully, I don't have to do any filing. The filing's like kind of just a pain. This plastic's not as easy to file down as I thought it would be either. Okay, let's see here. We're gonna we're gonna do a tiny bit of filing. Hardly any. Uh, good enough. This is all going to be underneath the vehicle anyway. Like, you'll never really be able to see these parts for the most part. Parts for the most part. Can you put a lift kit on it? Uh, there probably is a way to lift RC trucks. I'm sure there probably is. Um, it's not really part of my plan at the very beginning, but doesn't mean I wouldn't consider it down the road. All right, good enough uh, filing there. Oh wait, did I get the right ones here? I don't think I checked even these part numbers before I broke these off. Are, these aren't identical, are they? Okay, they are identical. Good. <laughs> All four of them are... Or wait, no. Hold on, hold on. Wait a second. Please tell me there's a number somewhere on here. I don't see one. Maybe I don't need it, though. Maybe the picture can tell me what I need to know. So it looks like... This one is going to go right here. And then it looks like the other one. Does that just snap into there? That's cool. Oh, man, that's such another tight fit. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so that goes there. And... That means this one is going to pop right into here. Nice. Also just popped right on in. Let's get this out of the way. 
So now we're going to take our four screws, fasten these in nice and tight, and then we're going to do the same thing to the rear differential. Getting a phone call right now. I cannot take that. Um, okay, cool. All right, so let's get screwing here. Let's get screwing. Yo, killed. You said your name is William. Well, then welcome, William. I'm probably not going to remem remember your real name. I do sometimes brag about how I'm really good with names and faces, but to remember usernames is one thing, but then to remember usernames and everybody's real name on top of that, that's a different story. That's a different story, you know. And we are just screwing these bad boys in. Actually, no, we are not. Okay. As usual, I think I need to push harder to really uh, get these threads started. Let's try a little bit more pressure. Okay, there we go. Now we've got it turning. So close to 500k, yeah, I shouldn't have uh, slacked with my YouTube channel. You know how the last few weeks I've been making less videos really definitely slowed down the growth of my channel quite a bit, but it is what it is. Um, I don't know. It, it might actually be a while <laughs> until we hit 500k at this rate. I think yesterday was like the first day that I lost subscribers in like a long time. It was probably because I did this this live stream, which is kind of the sad part. It's like I try to do something new and I lose subscribers for the first time in, you know, a month. But I figure you can't please everybody. And if I want to reinvent my channel, then I'm just going to have to accept that like part of the process might be losing some subs for a while so that I can kind of like reinvent my my channel to some degree. Uh, okay, this screw doesn't feel like it's going in, but maybe it is. Mm, it feels like it might just be spinning. Let me push harder. If it is just spinning, that's a bad sign, because that means that we are stripping the heck out of it. Okay, uh, what do we got going on? McDonald? What? A McMedium McWater? Yeah, seriously. I hate how McDonald's thinks that they can just add Mick onto anything and suddenly it's like, I don't know, suddenly it's worth buying or like, I don't know. McDonald's is so lame. I worked at McDonald's for three years though, so what am I saying? Hmm, okay, this needs to come down a little tighter yet. In one of the videos I saw of this dude building his kit, he was using an electric screwdriver, and uh, I'm sure that's useful and convenient and quick, but they really recommend that you turn all these by hand so that you can actually feel the resistance. Because when you're using like uh, electric tools, it's so easy to like over torque something, over tighten, or something like that. No, I don't, I hate making these judgment calls where I just gotta decide, okay, that feels pretty tight. Okay, you just gotta make sure not to over tighten, that's all. Okay, so we've got that guy screwed, wait. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought I had something on backwards, as usual. Time to do this side. I will admit, uh, all this screw driving is actually making my forearm kind of, kind of uh, tired here. Um, hmm. Here we go, we're turning now. I can't wait to start getting these uh, next things on. I don't know what they're called, but 
all of these things that attach to basically the rest of the chassis and I think into the suspension eventually. I better start tightening one of these other this other side so that I don't over tighten one side before starting the other. Let's get this guy going. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have faith in my moderators here. I'm so afraid that somebody's gonna be like banned or timed out for just like maybe saying one off color thing. Just uh, make sure you guys aren't. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Just do your thing. Just don't over moderate. That's all. Let's not be too sensitive here. But at the same time, yeah, if it's worthy of being banned or deleted, then do it. I don't know. It's your call. Yo, Wyatt DS, you said it's your first stream. Really? Well, welcome. You caught me here doing something really out of the ordinary for my channel. Um, but yeah, dude, welcome to, uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, pretty good, Crazy Cajun. Pretty, pretty good. Um, can't really complain. I uh, got a good night of sleep. Woke up. Fit a game of league in. <laughs> Ate those leftover chicken wings. I can't really complain. Okay. Boys, boys, boys. We are... We are moving along. This is suddenly starting to look like... Starting to look like something impressive. <laughs> yeah, I worked at McDonald's for like three years. Alright, alright. Fair enough. 300 seconds? What is that? That's, uh... Five minutes? That's not too bad. Okay, so... The top's done. We gotta do the same thing to the back, or the bottom now. Or, yeah, back. Um, let me see if I can do these ones just a little quicker. Because that took way too long to just screw those things into that. Let me just try to work a little bit quicker here for these ones, now that I understand exactly what's happening. File that down. Just minimal filing. I'm waiting for the part that I overfile and shave off, like, something that I need. <laughs> Life of Gitchy's first video, small cat vlog. Oh, I wish I had started doing, like, the whole vlogging thing months ago. Like, I was kicking myself earlier today when I was petting Xena, and I was like, man, I hardly took any videos of Xena when she was living outside as a kitten, living with the chickens. You know, it's just a little Siamese kitten living with chickens, and I basically missed out on, like, the whole opportunity to film that and share it with you guys. Like, I have a little bit of footage on my GoPro that I could upload one day. I just wish, uh... I wish I had taken better advantage of it. You know? Less talking, more doing. It's like... Oh well. She lives in the house now. Yes, I will be making Mudrunner videos. Oh, see, I think I have so many plans for my channel that I don't know where to go first with them. Like, I want to start doing vlogs. I want to start doing, like, more gaming videos and more games. I want to start doing RC videos. So I get, like, so many ideas all at once, and I just, uh... I think I overwhelm myself. Oh, crap. <laughs> that just popped right off. Let me make sure I'm doing this right. Let's just double check that. I think I am. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, we should be good. It just happened to pop off the back. I like these red parts. There are some people online who, uh, you know, said that they didn't like the red differential covers and that they looked like cheap or tacky or fake. Personally, I'm a fan of the red accents. Um, if there was too much more red, I do think it would start being kind of lame. But I think it's just enough red to uh, make it make it cool, you know? I like it. Okay, let's redo this here without snapping the piece off. Oh, this one's going in nice and fast. 
Let's start the other one. Yeah, guys, last night I got home from uh, going out for chicken wings, and then we went to this trivia night at this local kind of bar thing. And um, I got home, and like I actually wanted to work on this so badly, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. Like, I knew that if I was going to work on it, I had to stream it. I wasn't going to not show you guys as part of the process, but it was just too late to start streaming. So as much as I wanted to work on this, I was like, all right, I'll have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I got a, a 5,000 milliamp battery for this, guys. So based on what I read, my run times should be pretty good. This should have at least, I think, a solid two-hour run time depending on how you're running it. You know, if you're going at higher speeds, then obviously you're gonna kill the battery quicker. And I did get a pretty powerful engine for this being a crawler. I don't know if it's gonna end up being a mistake or not, but if you guys know anything about these, I got a 3500 kV brushless motor. So, 3500 kV is actually pretty quick. A lot of crawlers recommend lower kVs, like 2700. Um, but I figured, why would I want to limit myself with 2700 when I could just get 3500, get the same torque, get the same power, but unlock a higher top speed? I don't know. Now, I did decide not to go up to 4500 kV. I could have gone up to 4500, but that was officially overkill. There was no reason that this thing had to be going that fast. So I don't know. It's It comes down to mostly a matter of preference, I think. Once you start, you'll want to keep doing it. What are we talking about? Uh, Gitchy, want to see a bit of the truck? I can send it to you on Snapchat. My Snapchat's been acting weird. For the last few days, I haven't even been able to open it without it crashing immediately, so I can't even guarantee you that I'll see that video. Um, I think it's because my phone's storage is so full. My phone's like 99% full, so the apps aren't even updating anymore, which might have been why Snapchat was crashing. It might have just been too out of date, so it force quit itself. You should have gotten a 35 turn brushed motor. Here's why I didn't do that. Um, brushed motors wear down quicker. They need replaced sooner. I get that they're cheaper and stuff, but um, they also need more upkeep. You have to clean them more often if you get, say, like sediment in them. And then lastly, brushed motors are just slow, which is, again, usually fine for a crawler build. I kind of wanted to have a hybrid crawler. I wanted something that can still crawl, and still have good low and control, but I do want it to have an option for, say, you know, close to 30 miles an hour for a little bit of speed if you want to just run it, you know? Uh, again, not everybody's going to agree with that. There's going to be a lot of purists who say, oh my gosh, I can't believe you put a 3500 kV brushless motor in your crawler. But, you know, to them, I say, yeah, whatever. You do most of your streams when I'm at school, so I'm watching from my phone in my desk. Oh my gosh. You have your phone hidden in your desk, dude. That is amazing. Please do not get caught. Okay, we are almost fully tightened down here. These eight screws have taken us actually a very long time. Uh, I don't think I should tighten that anymore. It's really, I know I keep saying it. Over tightening, it's a scary thing. Stripping plastic threads. Okay. Um, ooh, did I go in too far with that or no? Okay, no. Ah, I see. That one could go in a hair. Noise and that one and okay. I think we are good to go here. We are good to go. Yo, Georgia boy, I'll see you back in a little bit, dude. Those link posts are upside down. No, they're not. <gasps> no, wait. 
No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> oh, for a second I thought they were. I was like, no! Thankfully it was just uh, an epic troll, I think. I haven't seen Loza around. Yeah! Oh, and Soap Dropper! Whatever happened to Soap Dropper? <laughs> that dude. That is a classic name right there. Oh my goodness. I still feel like these gears could turn a little more smoothly. Like, listen to that. You can totally hear grinding, and I looked it up yesterday, because if you were here yesterday, you know that I was complaining about how it didn't feel like it was turning smoothly. Uh, apparently on Axial's website, they say that you really need to run it for a while, and that the gears will break in. Um, the rubbing can just be from anything from like a flake of metal that needs to be worn down or something like that so do you guys think I should just not worry about this for now the fact that you know you can really hear those gears rubbing but I guess it's okay it doesn't feel too bad okay let me see here um, we did that we did that Wait a second. Note direction. What? Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, like, okay, I think. Yeah, why does it say note direction? It can only go on one direction. Like, it, it couldn't have possibly attached another way. I don't really know why it's bothering to tell you that. Um... I think. Yeah, there's... Uh, why, why would it even say that? There's no other possible way for that thing to go on. Note direction of differential gears. I don't really know what this is telling us. Like, okay, yeah, no duh. Of course they point that way. Front, back, I get it. Whatever. All right, boys, we're turning the page. Don't worry about it. The small amount of power going through it, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, you're probably right. Kenneth, you said you just got done with your RC. Sweet, dude. My snap might be working today. I don't know. I don't know. I'll check after the stream. Um, cool. So let's turn the page. Oh my goodness. Whoo! We are getting into a new bag now. This is exciting. So let me see. I'm going to clean up a little bit of stuff here. Because uh, I still never finish off my plastic one bag. I don't know what all these are actually I'm not gonna worry about them till I need to though uh, so yeah bag a empty this bag empty lots of empty bags that's a good thing to see I love seeing empty bags nothing shows you that you're making progress as much as a bunch of empty plastic okay so this thing is saying that we're gonna need bag B oh boy this is Maybe that's why it's bag B. It stands for, oh boy. Um, let's take a look at what we're doing here, guys. So we're going to be taking these steering links. Is that what these are? Okay. Mm All right. I mean, let's just hop right to it. We'll, we, we have good momentum. Tie rod time. Okay, let's do it. Dying from mosquitoes. Where are you at right now that you're getting bit by mosquitoes? So somebody asked how big this thing's gonna be. It's not cut out or painted yet, but you can see here, I mean, it's gonna be pretty big. Much bigger than my head. Okay, um... Oh, cool. Bag B is actually a little more simple than I was expecting. Yo, Aiden, see you later, dude. Dipper, I'll see ya. Or was Dipper saying see ya to Aiden? Or is Dipper leaving too? I don't know. Janai Grandison, welcome to the stream. How's it going? Okay, so. Let's open that up. And uh, so what do we need here exactly? 
it's showing us that we need six of these screws here. Um, oh, there's a sub bag within the bag bag. We got bags in bags. Are you going to paint it on stream or will that be a video? Onyx, I was actually just talking about that yesterday. Um, yeah, I think a video is probably going to be easier because I'll probably have to paint it outside. There's no way that I could spray paint in my house. So yeah, that last part will probably be a video. Well then, uh, let's see here. So are these all the same screws? Oh, some of these don't even have heads on them. That's interesting. Huh. I've never seen anything really quite like that. It's just a long threaded screw basically, but without a without a head on it. Hmm, interesting. So, we need 6 of those. So, let me open this up a little wider. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. What kind of paint am I going to use? I don't know. Um, I assume there's like RC paint that you're supposed to use. As for color, what color do you guys think we should paint this? I'll, I'll tell you what I was thinking. To be honest, I kind of wanted to paint it white and make it look like it looks on the box. I, I just think the white with the black and then the red accents, I feel like it all looks really good. And then that way if you get it muddy, the white will show mud really well. So, you know, if you get a few little splashes of mud on it, you'll see it. Um, I thought about, like, red and stuff, but I don't know. I've seen some people paint theirs red, and for some reason, I really just don't care for the way it looks. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to keep it bl uh, keep it white. They're called studs. The headless ones are for attaching the inner and outer tie rods. Onyx, remind me again how you know all this. Did you Do you have some, like deep understanding of cars that I never knew that you possessed. Navy blue with a gold stripe along the side. That sounds kind of cool. I also want it to look realistic. I don't want an over-the-top paint job that makes it look like a toy. I want a paint job that makes it look, you know, paint a gitchy blue. Not a bad idea. Uh, Alright, so let's move on here. Let's keep it, uh, keep it moving. One, two, three, four, five, six. Got all those ready to go. Um... So basically, it looks like you have short, short, long, and uh, then where do these come from, these ends here? Are those part of the plastic ones? I think that might be where we get into the plastic bag, maybe with these parts? I don't know. We'll find out. I guess let's just start going to town here on these tie rods. So. Hmm. All right, we have three different lengths. Three different lengths. Um, and these do not appear to be labeled, so let's see. How should I find out which one is which? Um, aha, okay, so this is one-to-one -one scale. So, yeah, we need... Okay, so we need two of these tiny ones, two of the smallest ones, and then it looks like we need one of the big ones, one of the, one of the longest ones, I think. Let's see. Hmm. I do wish I could kind of have music on during this live stream. I think like music would be good. It's something that we would all enjoy, but there's just no good way to do music on YouTube. If this were Twitch, I'd definitely have some stuff playing, but unfortunately YouTube... Uh, wait a second, this looks too short. This is definitely too short. Is there a longer one? Aha, wait a second. I think there's one long one. Only one that is longer than the rest. Yes, okay. This is my steering link. Let 
Okay. Okay, okay. Yo, Hunter, thanks for dropping that leg, dude. You move faster with coffee? I don't know. I was shaking. My hands were shaking. I was like, they were sweating. I don't know. Yo, Justin Albert, what is up? Damon, you too. Welcome, dude. Welcome to uh, everybody tuning in. Uh, what if you make a mask of your Gitchy 1230 name, paint it on the body shell? I was considering that too. Make, like, use my kind of like logo with kind of the GTA font. I'd be open to that. All right, let's get to work here. So, oh, I gotta get my head out of the camera. Whew. What trailer am I going to buy? I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but if you go on eBay and you type in 10 to 1 scale RC trailer, uh, it should be like one of the first ones that comes up. I think it's just a, um, like, $150, $140 black regular, like, pool behind trailer. Yo, Onyx, with another $5 super chat. My man. I build real full size cars. Also, just a mechanically inclined person on top of just being able to figure out how to do stuff. Wow. Onyx, you don't give yourself enough credit, man. I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, Onyx is a legend. Man, I didn't even realize any of that about you. That is awesome, dude. Thanks again for the $5 super chat. I appreciate it a lot. You should look into Pretzel for music. Oh, YouTube safe filter. Interesting. But it's probably all, like, obscure videos. Yo, Pyro, thanks for the kind words. Shout out to Braxton and Tucker. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in, man. So, this little link... I gotta find out what these are. I feel like these might be on the plastic parts tree. I think they might come off of here. The question is... Which one is it? It says that it is... Uh-oh, I hear a cat. Oh, I hear a cat. Oh, man. Do I let Xena in? Let me see if that's her. If it's her, it'll be worth it. Time out. Xena! Hi! Oh, alright. We gotta get Xena up here. This is probably a bad idea. Let me put some things where she can't knock him down. You guys gotta see Xena. You, you just, you have to see her. I'm gonna put her right here where I'm working real quick. And then we'll continue. We're gonna take a quick, quick breather to show you little kitten Xena. Where'd you go? Come here. Come over here. I gotta lure her over to me with something. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Oh. Xena! How's it going? You should look up here at the camera. Show everybody your eyes. Zena, no, 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 she's already biting these things. Zena, what are you doing? Zena, look. Look up here at the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I bet she would love to help me here. She would love to. Oh, you have stuff sticking to your face. What's going on here? You can't play with any of this, I'm sorry. I'm sure you would love to. <laughs> you can't, I'm sorry. Here, look at this one. Ooh, don't bite that. That's gonna be hard on your little teeth. That's, that's metal. That's metal. It's not gonna feel good. <laughs> yeah, Xena's, she's a good little cat. I mean, you can kind of pet her like a dog. Like, rough her up. Bah, 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 bah. And she's just super chill. She's super duper chill. She, uh... Yeah, she is a Siamese. She's not full-blooded or whatever, purebred. Because she was born into my garage, so she's kind of a mutt. So I was pulling some, like, stuff glue dried onto her nose. Alright, Xena. Is there any way I could work with you up here? Probably not. There's probably no way I could possibly make this work because every time I go to do something, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I should give you a chance. Maybe, let's see if I can uh, put some parts together 
with you just chilling here. Maybe it'll be possible. Or maybe it's a horrible idea and I'm going to lose some parts. Let's see. Watch this, Xena. We're going to take this thing. You see this? We're going to screw this into here. Pretty interesting, right? I know, isn't that cool? Look up at the camera. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take the other one here. We're going to do the same thing with it. We're just going to take it and uh, screw it into the other side. I like how now that I have a cat in the shot, my viewers are climbing. <laughs> I think we've gained just like 10 from the time that uh, I brought Xena up onto the table. Put her in your lap? No. She doesn't like laps. For some reason, she's not much of a lap cat. She loves being pet, loves being near people, but she's not really into laps. Okay, so let me reference these directions real quick. Um, so this long one also needs these things screwed into it. So, oh, come on now, you're, you're quick, you're quick. Yo, Hunter, thanks for dropping the like. Trevor, what is up? What is that red thing sticking out of the rear end of the cat? Wait, what? <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know. Were you talking about this thing? Uh, you might have been talking about my file. Ow! You got my finger, Xena. Does she shed a lot? Luckily, she doesn't. No! She was just trying to run away with my file! <laughs> She put the file in her mouth and was going to run off the table with it. Uh, luckily, she doesn't shed a lot because she's only about six months old. Cats plus YouTube equals profits. Yeah, since she's so young, though, she sheds minimally. Um, I hope you're going away now. Perfect. All right, let me see if she wants to leave. That might, that might have been the perfect visiting session. Let me see if she uh, wants to go out now. Actually, you know what? Do you want to go or stay? You going? Staying? Alright, whatever. We'll leave her in here for now. Because I think she's bored out there alone. Okay, so here we've got our link situation. These all screwed into both ends. we got to find the plastic parts that go and screw onto these. And then there's additional little parts. Oh, I don't know about this. You are going to distract me. <laughs> um, Alright, so how do I know exactly what I need here? I guess these are labeled 311865, 311865, 311868, 311868... 311868, 311868, okay. It's all the same, basically. 31186. Okay, so... Alright. I'm a little confused here, as as usual. No, no big surprise, right? Um, focus, come on, focus. Okay, you see, that says 8. This one above my finger here... It's losing focus, but it says nine. Um, so, and this down here says five. Did we need a five? We do need a five. All right, well then I'm going to assume that these are all eights, I think. If that says eight, then this is probably eight, 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 eight. So I guess let's, let's pull off uh, Eight six eight. Okay, so we'll pull off uh, four of these. Xena, you're probably gonna have to go. You're cute and everything. You're really cute, but I don't know. I don't know if you're uh, mature enough for this. I just don't know if you're ready for this kind of uh, responsibility yet. You know? Oh, purr into the mic. Let let them hear you purr. Alright, now I am actually going to let her out because all I'm doing is making myself work a lot slower by her being in here just because I keep like looking to see what she's doing. So, Xena, let me, 
Let's get you out of here real quick. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, ow. Oh, I'm stepping over my cables and I just like kicked my desk. I feel bad kicking her out, but all I'm doing is working a lot slower if I uh, have her in here. Okay, so this whole parts tree kind of confuses me a little bit. Um, or no, I guess not. Okay, so these are all threes, these are all fours, these are all sixes, these are all sevens. That means these are all nines, these are all eights, I think from here over, looks like there's six eights, two fives. All right, let's start uh, breaking off our eights here in a line. Hmm, I think I'm gonna use the cutters for this maybe. These don't break off very easily even with flexing them. Let's see. I finally get to use my side cutters, yeah. Can you buy an Axial Grave Digger or Maximum D? The Axial Grave Digger is sweet. I I would like to get it one day. We'll just see. We'll see how the funds go and everything. Um, what I really hope to do is like, I hope these RC videos can bring in just a little bit of ad revenue so that I can keep like reinvesting into the RC videos, you know, whether it's like buying a trailer or a winch or um, stuff like that. So who knows if the RC videos perform really well, then yeah, I mean, we'd probably have the funds to just buy a grave digger and uh, make some videos of that. But it all, all just depends. All right, so you can see when we cut this off, it leaves a little bit of a, a little nub, as I like to say. So we can just clip that right off. That's actually pretty clean. That doesn't even need filed. Oh, I got nice and flush right up against that. Okay, so how many of these eights do we need? We need one, two, three, four... I think only four for now. So let's break off or cut off two more. One, two. Nice, okay, here we go. One more time. Um, whoa, this one didn't come off quite as nicely. Can you get an RC quad? Yes, Colton, I forgot to mention. That's another thing I was going to pick up. On Amazon, they have like an RC ATV. And I think it's... I think it's 10 to 1 scale, maybe. And it's also four-wheel drive. And it's only like 50 bucks. So, I was thinking... Uh, I was thinking that if I get that trailer or whatnot, the four-wheeler would be a perfect addition to haul around and just make some sick videos. Okay, getting all these parts together still. I still wish they told you the plastic parts that you needed over here on the side, just so you didn't have to like comb through all this over and over. Um, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we need the two, eight, six, fives. And I think that's the final thing for this step that's coming off this tree. Oops. All right, so let's remember the fives are the curved ones, the um, oh, what was I saying? The eights are straight, the fives are curved, I think. And then we're not done here yet. We still need to find whatever these little things are. We've got this guy. This guy, this guy, this guy. So we need what? We need one, two, three, four, five, six of all the same part. What are those exactly? I don't even know. You should get a roll cage on the Jeep. I was thinking, yeah, what if we, uh, what if we made it like a Meriwether roll cage? 
You can start an RC channel. When you stream RC stuff, you want to listen to everyone asking when the next Spin Tires GTA video is. That's a very good point. I've kind of considered that before. Um, I'll test it out. I'll probably do a test video on my channel, or a few test videos, see how people like them. And if people are complaining, then, yeah, we'll see. Um, oh, I found them. Okay. I found the weird little parts that I need. So, gotta take another sip of my water here. That's that's true, Onyx. That's a good point. But here's my other thought. Yeah, what's up, Fire Demon? Um, I was thinking that like a lot of people who watch my channel, we already know that they like like off roading, mudding stuff, like because they're into spin tires, they're into GTA. So at the same time, RC kind of fits into it all really well. So. I might actually be kind of hurting myself more if I were to make a second RC channel because it might get like a big jump start if it's on the same channel. Because I think if you're into spin tires, you're going to be into RC like off-roading. I mean, I think that just makes sense. Uh, okay, so bleh, these are all of our ones. Okay. Are these more of the same things? Yes. AX80018 ones. Okay, so these can go back in the bag for now. Ugh. Getting a little bit of congestion. I hope I'm not getting sick. Who's, uh, who's ready for Christmas? I'm ready for Christmas. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting idea, Onyx. My, well, my most uh, recent plan was was to uh, do a second vlogging channel and then put the RC videos here on my main gaming channel, but that's all uh, subject to change. I haven't really said anything in stone. Said anything in just in stone. <laughs> Dad jokes, yeah. Alright, number four coming out, or no, number three. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, today we might stream until 7 o'clock, which would be 45 more minutes. I think I might have something more to do with the building process. People think it's boring. Or what do you mean? I think I might have something more to do. What do you mean, exactly? I know this part is, to a lot of people, this part is going to be boring, because it's you know, 10 hours of watching somebody build something, you know. I have a hammer and a chisel if you need help getting things in stone. You know what? I might take you up on that. I'll get you with your hammer and chisel, and then I'll get Justin Stone over here as well. And between both of you guys, I think we could make stuff happen. How many axles does the trailer have? I think it's just a single axle, or maybe it has two sets of tires, one, two, and then a total of four. I'm not sure. It's been a while since I've looked at it. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, nice. I think we're officially ready to make this stuff all come together here. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be streaming for about 45 more minutes today. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeep guy, I know the feels, man. That sounds like something I would say. <laughs> Sometimes I have a dark sense of humor, though. I think a lot of us do. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get it popping here. So we're taking one of our straight things, note direction of link ends. I don't really know what it means by that, to be entirely honest. Uh, how's this supposed to go on? Just... Oh, it's kind of hard to get it started. Oh, is this threaded? Is this pre-threaded or am I making the threads as I screw it on? I wish I knew. Okay. Wow. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> that was odd. That was weird. 
The building process is not boring. It's a learning experience. Yeah, I mean, I'll admit, it's a lot more fun if you're the one building it as opposed to watching it. Um, oh, I see what you're saying, Isaac. Right, right. Matthew, welcome back, dude. What's up? Okay, so these... Let me see. Is this pre-threaded? Here's how I'll check. I'll take my smallest screwdriver. We'll just feel the inside of this. Okay, no. So these are not threaded at all. So that means that we're creating the threads ourselves as we tighten it down. Fine by me. I think. Just please go on straight. This seems weird, but I guess it's correct. It's getting kind of hard to turn. Hmm, I almost need something to like hold it with. Maybe just my shirt, because it's kind of like wanting to spin in my hand. Oh, this seems so questionable. Like, this is getting really hard to turn. I don't know if I can even turn it by hand anymore, because I have zero grip on this slick metal thing here. Like, I'm turning it, and this metal part's just spinning in my hand. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't help that my hands are a little sweaty, too. This might be where it's good to have, like, pliers or something. Hmm. I don't like the way this is feeling, but I guess it's correct, right? It just seems weird that it's not pre-threaded. It's really hard to turn. At this point, I don't think I'm even making any progress. I'm going to need something to hold this with because it's... My hand's sweating too much to <clears throat> even grip that. How old am I, or are you talking to someone else? Oh, no, you're probably talking to Justin. Uh, this is the first time you answered me in two years? What? Yo, Tenusleen. Ten, ten, Tenelzine? I feel like I've never seen you here before, dude. I'm sorry I apparently missed you all those other times. I am 24. I'm 24 years old. Uh, but yeah, Welcome. I'll just call you 10 for short, but uh, sorry that that's the only time that I answered you. Um, Alright, so I guess I'm going to just keep turning these. I don't know how, though. I, I really need some kind of pliers, I think. Um, no pliers in the set. Let me see. What can I grip it better with? Uh, a paper towel will probably give me less grip, but maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, no, more grip. That's good. That's good. Oh, this hurts. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to be exhausting. I might do this part like... Oh, we have to do this six more times. This is going to suck. Jeez. Oh, this is so hard to turn. This is, like, ridiculous. Let me see something real quick. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at the length of the screw versus the length of this thing. I guess it all looks like it should fit. Okay, all right, let's try to get this one finished. We still have to close the gap like another three millimeters or so. Oh man. Oh. Oh. Ah, I, this feels like it could even be starting to strip, to be entirely honest. It doesn't even feel like it's, um. Doesn't feel like it's going down any further. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we did strip this. Uh, any thoughts, guys, as to what... I mean, it definitely shows that it's supposed to screw in all the way. Then at the end, it should be down all the way. Oh, this is just impossible to turn. This is way too tight. Let 
I'm actually breaking a sweat right now. If you screw it in then back out and then screw it back in, it will help a bit. I was considering that, but at the same time, I don't want to undo my work that I just did. Un unscrew it off the stud and then back out on. Put something in the hole to use as leverage. Vincent, that's actually a good idea, dude. That's actually a real good idea. If I were to, like, say, do something like this, but the problem isn't the grip up here. I have plenty of grip up here, because I can grip this just fine. The grip issue is this slick metal bar that has, like, zero traction on it. So, actually... Oh, my gosh. I might have to do this off-stream, because nobody wants to watch me struggle with this for this long. Um, yeah, again, I mean, yeah, I could put something in the hole, but it's not going to really solve the problem because I'm still not going to have grip down here where I need it. Um, you know what? Let me try something real quick. Um, I'm going to step out super quick and see... Uh, I could see if there's any pliers around. Um... I don't really have, I don't have what I need in here, just more screwdrivers and stuff. Uh, okay, I'm gonna run and see if I can grab some uh, needle nose pliers real quick. I'll be right back and try not to trip this time. Ooh. This is, I think, going to help. We've got some Black and Decker needle nose pliers. So, let's give this another try now. Um, I shouldn't need to worry about damaging these, I don't think. They seem pretty solid. So, let me just try to grip it here. Hope I don't, like, scratch the crap out of it. Here's what I'll do. Okay. <laughs> we'll take this. We'll wrap in the paper towel so it doesn't get scratched and then we're gonna squeeze down really hard with the pliers kinda in the middle of it so now I've got a really tight grip with the pliers is it still spinning in there? It's still, it still it still doesn't have enough grip even with these needle nose pliers it is still just rotating Oh my gosh this was such an unforeseen problem so close oh this is such a pain literally this like I am in pain if you answer me again I'll be the happiest man on earth oh well mr. 10 10 10 63 my man oh I hope I just made you the happiest man on earth oh oh it's so close we have maybe like half a millimeter left. Look how small that gap is. Oh, Duct tape has grip. Jeep guy, that's actually a really good idea. Yeah, duct tape would probably grip that way better than a paper towel would. 
Don't use paper towel. I don't know. I feel like the paper towel might have... We could just try that. I just don't want to scratch the heck out of this thing. Or maybe it won't get scratched. We can try it without the paper towel. Oh, see? Did you hear that? Like, yeah, it, it's already, like, scratching that up. As I started to turn it, it was, like, turning through the teeth. I'm just going to finish it with a paper towel. <clears throat> I think that was working. Just squeeze down really tight. Okay, here we go. The hardest part is honestly squeezing these, not even turning this thing. It's just like... <sighs> uh, I don't know. There's still a gap. There's still a small gap that I don't think should be there. You can just barely see it there. There we go. Hmm... Um, oh, I hope I never have to take this apart, because this, if I have to take this apart, that is not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Alright, are we starting to look like uh, the scale drawing here? Is this, does it look right? I think it's like a tiny, tiny bit too far apart still. Like, I can fit my fingernail in that gap, and I feel like that gap should not... Shouldn't be there. Let's try to give it one, one final best try we've got. I'm literally putting all my strength that I have into this, which probably isn't very much, but <laughs> no. My hand strength is actually decent. You might not guess it from looking at me, but I've got some decently strong hands. All right, let's try to give it one last good turn. There it went, okay. That was the turn that closed the gap. Oh my gosh, that was insane. I can't believe what that took to get that on there. That hurt. My hands are like, you can see the red marks on my hand from where I'm just like squeezing those pliers. Ah. All right. Duct tapes, not a bad idea. I just don't know where any is at the moment. Um... I'm going to really hope that that was, for some reason, the most difficult one out of all of them. You know, do you guys think maybe there's a chance that these next ones are going to be easier? Daniel, what is up, dude? What am I doing? I am building a 4x4 RC truck. Oh, I'll try another one here, guys. I feel like this one looks like maybe it has the next biggest hole. I really, really, really hope this is one of those situations where this next one goes on like a breeze. Yeah, guys, let's go ahead and uh, get a like spike going because I need all of the good energy that you guys can send me. Um, <laughs> yo, yo, dude, thanks for subbing, my man. Uh, yeah, let's get the like spike going. Drop a like down below. Tell me in the chat that you did. I'm going to be shouting out as many of you guys as possible again. Let's go. Let's get it going. Three, two, one. Like Spike. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get this one started and see if it is any easier. I wonder if there's a chance that maybe I didn't start the last one straight. You know, maybe we were a tiny bit cocked to the side. So that would have, I don't know, maybe made it bind worse. I don't know. This one already feels better. I know we're not very far in, but this one does already feel a little... Oh, I don't know. It's getting harder fast. Maybe not. Maybe... Uh, yeah. It's starting to get tough. Well, no. It's definitely better than the last one overall. We've hand-cranked it pretty far. I think if I just switch over to the paper towel needle nose pliers combo that... I think this one should be a lot easier. Check this out. Man, that first one was just messed up. I don't know what was wrong with that thing. Ow, this one's starting to hurt too now. <sighs> okay, so... One thing is that I need to have these things facing the same way. You know, 
they need to be parallel with each other, and right now they are not. So, hmm. Oh, I didn't go too far, did I? Okay, this one needs tightened a tiny, tiny, tiny bit further if possible. Not much, though. If I go too much, it'll be too far. Let's try that again. Maybe if I grip farther back on the pliers, too, it'll give me just a little bit more leverage. Ow, no, that, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Okay, wait, that might be... Oh, I might have gone too far. I might have gone too far. Hmm, that's pretty close. I don't know. It might be good enough. Let's see if I can show you guys on camera. We want these two circles to be perfectly parallel with each other. So let's see, as we slowly rotate it, Let's see if they look like they are. Hmm. Let's try rotating it this way. Hold on. Yeah, I'd say actually they're pretty darn close. As I slowly start to turn it, it looks like you start to see the white in the hole at about the same time. You start seeing it on this side a little bit first, which tells us that it's not perfectly parallel with each other. Um, I think... Maybe I can do it that way by grabbing it at both ends. There we go, hold on. Okay, wait, that might have done it. Nice. I think we are perfectly parallel. It just took a long, long time and a lot of effort. Nice. Okay. Oh my gosh. This homework is hard and time consuming. Ooh, what kind of, uh, yeah, what kind of, what subject? What kind of homework? Uh, I forgot about the like spike during that whole thing, guys. Thanks for sending those likes through. Tony Ashworth, Philip Donges. I hope I said that right. I probably didn't. Uh, ten, 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 I want to know how to say that, dang it. Let me know how to pronounce your name. Uh, crazy Cajun, thanks for dropping that like crazy. Uh, mm. Science, eh? Okay, so... Ah, I guess we might as well keep going. Um, so what does this show once we have these things screwed in? Then we... Okay, so this has no front or back, right? These are both... Uh-oh. Okay, hopefully this doesn't matter. I just noticed something. Um, if you look at this end of this loop, uh, it's not gonna focus. Maybe I gotta like cover up. Oh, my arms look so gross like this. That looks so weird. <laughs> they look like all bendy, like they're curving like halfway through my forearm. They look broken. Um, I don't think it should matter. No, there's no way that's gonna matter. I'm not even going to explain it because I think I'm just worrying about things that don't matter. Okay, note direction of link ends. I think that just means make sure they're both oriented with each other. So then this guy is going to pop through the back on both sides. Okay. All right, that's actually a, a nice tight fit there. Hashtag hair cam, that's right. Dropped a bigger leg than an ocean. Oh my gosh, Jeep guy, my man, thanks. It's pronounced Dengis. Gotcha, Dengis. 
Cool, I can remember that. I'm not sure how to say it, but thank you for answering me. Dude, you are ever so welcome. Your hair is always in the way. Not always, it's not in the way right now. It's only usually in the way. Put your hand behind the object you're trying to focus the cam on. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, that was so much better. Wow. Who's the YouTuber here, me or you? I think it might be you. Because <laughs> I never even thought of that. Um, okay. All right, that should be good. It looks like, uh, yeah, we, we should be good to go there. So this one is done. Oh my gosh, it was... Oh, that was a pain. Turning Tides DLC for Battlefield 1. I can't even sleep. That's going to be so cool. I don't really play Battlefield. I should give it a try. It's probably fun. Uh, Georgia Boy. I'll see you later, dude. Um, Alright, let's uh, get these next ones going here. So the curved ones, the fives, are going to go on the long one. So, oh man, these things are going to suck. I hope these ones are easier than the first one. Gotta go no talking about me, Law, because who know I still might be here in a way. Wait, what? <laughs> Isaac, you're also a photographer. That's cool. I kind of like photography, too. <clears throat> I want to use my, uh, my DJI Mavic for some aerial photography. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh-oh, this one's getting tight fast. No! No! Oh, I think this one might be cl close to as bad as the first one. All right. Let's do it. Let's give her the old needle-nose plier treatment. Here we go. Whose mental health? Are we talking about my mental health? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. oh, you guys would not believe. I'm not even trying to be dramatic about this right now. You wouldn't believe how tight I'm squeezing these pliers and it is still turning. Oh, it's probably because I need the duct tape. Um, okay, let me look around. I have an idea. Check this out. Check this out. You know what probably has more grip than a paper towel? Plastic. I'm gonna bet that plastic has better grip onto metal than a paper towel. So let's try folding up this plastic. And get that all out of the way. I might be wrong here, I might be way off, but I do feel like plastic should grip metal a little bit better than, say, a cloth paper towel. Doesn't that make sense? Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's way worse. That is way worse. This thing was instantly just like destroying the plastic. That did not work at all. My hand is getting a purple mark in it a little bit. This is great. Alright, I just have like the final two millimeters. Um, yeah, I gotta set up a good way for you guys to send me things easily. Whether, maybe I should still set up that Discord server. Is Onyx still here? I know Onyx was saying he would get me, help uh, get me set up with that. Do you have like a stick or something to put inside the hole or the black piece to try to turn it? Again, that's a good idea, but think about it. The problem isn't that we don't have grip up here. The grip up here is fine. So even if, say, I did something like this for leverage, the, the problem area is down here. This is where we don't have the grip. So even if I'm turning this thing, I'm still dealing with the same problem. So... And also, I don't, I'm not even sure I would trust the strength of these anyway, under that kind of torque. Yo, Martoon, what's up, dude? Glad to see you here. 
I feel like a lot of people don't have Discord. Who here does have Discord? I have it downloaded already. I just haven't made my server. It's probably so easy to set up. All I probably need is like a YouTube tutorial. Okay. Oh man, this is definitely the worst part. You'd be better off with normal pliers than needle nose. Onyx, there's your engineering brain at work again. You're totally right. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me go down. I'm going to give this one good last Titan, and if it doesn't work, I will go down and see if there's some normal pliers. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Okay. All right. Sealed the gap. There is no more gap. Yeah, Onyx, that is a good idea. I'm going to step out one more time here, and I'm going to see if I can uh, find some different pliers. Six new text messages. I better check these. Um, oh, boy. All right. I'll be right back. What's what's a Discord? actually found what I needed because all I found is a wrench and I don't think that's gonna do us any good this is really just made for like bolts and stuff at least I, I don't think it would work this thing would need to have some kind of uh, sides on it for this thing to be of any use so I guess for now the needle nose pliers are what we are going whoa 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 you guys talking crap about me i leave for one second and you guys all start just mm. oh you guys are lucky i should ban all of you right now oh sorry you're in a public library my bad <laughs> okay um okay okay let me see here Okay. All right. I guess let me keep going here with the needle nose pliers because uh, it's the only thing that's going to work for now. All right. Let's hope that this guy... I wish there was some kind of like lubricant that I could use that would make this go in more easily, but you're probably not supposed to. It would probably tell you to if it was recommended. Let's just get it started. Oh, this one feels decent so far. Feels decent so far to start. Oh, here we go. Now it's ah, staying decent. Okay. I think this one will be acceptable. It'll still require the wrench, but... Or not the wrench, but the, uh, you know... 
Yes, we still have pickles and small cat. What's up, Torin? Welcome. Am I gonna stream one? Yeah, usually. Oh, Christmas or Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, probably not streaming on Christmas. Uh, or who knows? As of now, I'd say probably not. But if that changes, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> oh, I've never been in so much pain. Okay. Oh, oh, my poor hand. <laughs> Jeez. It's starting to leave a dent. I'm going to be sore tomorrow, like legit. All right, guys, are these circles parallel? Oh, yeah, they look perfect. Perfectly aligned. Uh-huh. No. All right, so... Oh, man, my thumb even. Jeez. <laughs> I promise you guys, I'm not being like, or maybe I am being dramatic about it. I don't know, but I am in uh, experiencing some um, discomfort. All right, so this needs to be turned a little further. Ow! Okay, they're pretty close. Let's see. Still needs to go a little further. Oh man, multi-purpose oil would make it easier, but you probably don't have it. Yeah, I think you're right. Aiden, what's up? Yeah, my hand is... and my thumb. Like, not only this hand from holding the pliers, but this thumb from having to just, like, turn this sharp little piece of plastic. It's not really that sharp, but sharp enough. Okay, um... I am tempted to try your guys' idea, but I feel like this is too small for that. I feel like if I use this to try to torque that, I'm risking messing this thing up. Maybe if this was wider, if this part was wider, maybe I'd try it, but it's just like, I don't trust it to try to torque that with that loose of a hole. Uh, okay. Maybe I can tighten the other side. Alright, here we go. Oh no, I overturned it, are you serious? Okay, there we go. That might be it, that might be it. Alright, let's see, how parallel do these circles look? Mm, I'd say pretty good. Pretty good, um... Yeah, they're almost, uh, almost exact. All right, we're going to roll with that. I think that should be good enough. Let's uh, pop these bad boys in the back now. Oh, oh I have no finger strength left. Jeez, even pushing this through. Man. Okay. Whew, two of these are done. I can't believe we're going to have to do more of this tomorrow, guys. We're, we're going to get to redo all this tomorrow because... Oh, wow. I am not looking forward to that at all. Here's what I will do. I will, uh, I'll see if there's any tricks. I'll look up what other people did for this part because that is so, so hard to screw in. Oh, and then we got to do more of it over here on another day. Jeez. And more down here. Oh my gosh. Like, they, they take the hardest part of the whole thing, or the thing that you have to do, like, a ton of times, and then they make it really difficult. Proper wrench would probably make it easier. And then, like you guys said, something that I can just put through this hole. 
Um, your hands look like they've been going through hell. They're starting to look a little better now. A little better. I feel like I'm starting to get a cold. My nose is getting a little congested occasionally here. <coughs> okay. That leaves the last one. Oh, please be kind to me. Please be kind to me. All right. After that, what do we have to do, right? Because we did that, did that, did that, did all that. Wait. Guys, I think I made a mistake. I think I made a mistake. Correct me if I'm wrong here. So for this top one, see these things? See how these are both going in through the back? Both going in through the back, and here's the front, which we did. But on this one, correct me if I'm wrong, it shows this one going in the top and this one going in the bottom so that they are actually, on the second one, going in opposite directions. Right? Am I, am I understanding this? Am I looking at this correctly? Would you guys agree with that statement? Focus! Focus! Yeah, I mean, it's got to be. If you know how to read a diagram, then I guess the answer is right in front of you. These are way better than your gaming videos. Cool. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, your hand after you ran it through a table saw. That sounds horrible. So then for this last one, it shows this one going in the bottom and this one also going in the bottom. Okay, yeah, I, that's that's got to be how it is. Because then if you look at this one, you can see these two are in the same direction. Then you, if you look at this one, you can see they're not in the same direction. So, what that means is... Where'd my first little finished one go? Oh, duh. <laughs> Alright, so i got to take one of these and just pop one of these out and put it in the other way. Okay, that wasn't bad. I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I think you want one sticking out one side and the other one sticking out the other side. Hey, Aiden, I'll see you later. Why don't you do the next one like the middle one? What do you mean? Um, okay. So... Here's, uh, here's what's about to go down. We're going to painfully screw in these last two. And then this might lead us to a decent starting or stopping point for the day. I'm not sure. We'll see, uh, see what happens. All right. Um... Okay. All right, let's get to town. Let's go to work on it. All right. Opening thoughts uh, so far feels pretty good. I don't have too many complaints so far based off how it feels at the beginning. This one's easier to turn, though, because I don't only have this little loop for traction but it, it curves up at the top a little bit, so even that just helps me get some extra grip on it. Ugh. They should like tell you that you need vice grips for this part or something, because... Oh man, vice grips would probably come in handy here. Here we go, boys. The best part. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. 
Oh. Uh, oh boy. Oh, that's starting to hurt. Oh man. Fingers are sweating, slipping. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one a tiny bit loosened for a second. <sighs> starting to get some nail marks in my finger, in my hand even. Jeez. Alright, other side. Let's just knock him out quick. I keep taking like breathers in between, but at the same time, I think it might just be better to get it all done. Oh man, my thumb even now. Oh, this is horrible. How much longer am I going to stream? Not much longer. Let me see. Um, here's what I think we should do for today. I think we should do this part down here. Because right now we're doing this. I think we should do this. And then tomorrow... I'm, I'm not doing more of these tonight. I really can't. Like, I do not have the, the strength to do that. So, definitely not doing this tonight. So, yeah, let's maybe try to finish off this page. Not too bad, not too bad. I hardly even needed the, the pliers for that one. Look at that. I hand cranked that one almost the whole way. Not too bad. When is the next build day? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh, I feel like I need to dip my hands in ice water after this. I'm As soon as I end the stream here, what I'm going to do is look up this one build guide that I've been watching, just for reference, and I'm going to see what they do. How, how do other people do this part? Because there's no way that everybody's sitting here struggling like I am. Oh, it's still turning. That means I have to squeeze it even harder. Here we go. Jeez. Maybe... I guess it would be better if I hold it back further in the pliers. It would give me just a little bit more leverage. As long as it's not that cutting part of the pliers where it's made to, like, cut wire. That wouldn't be a good spot to uh, squeeze down on it. Okay. That's pretty good, but this one needs to tighten more. All right. Okay, well, this is dandy. You can see that uh, they're supposed to go like that, and I have them opposite at the moment of what they need to be. Because um, you want it coming down, go across, and then back up. And I have mine coming down, go across, and go down. So... Ah, uh, there's no way I can just... Uh, no way that's happening. Oh, I can't wait to have these on here. Just out of curiosity, where is this one going? This one... Okay, I see. So this thing's gonna go into here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Sebastian, I'll see you later, dude. All right, let's, uh, we're getting down to the final moments of the trauma. Oh, this one is impossible. I think I might have to loosen it. If I need to get those to align, I don't think I'm going to get any of them tighter. I think it might just need loosened. What the heck is this? 
Oh, that's weird. Isaac, your message scrolled up to where my mouse was, and my mouse was hovering over it, and for some reason... Okay, I'm watching your video right now, Isaac. Hovering over it for some reason plays it. Oh, is this how he did it? Okay, so I'm not the only one who needed to, like, find some clever way to make this work. Oh, that is a good idea. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to have these, like, loose. That's the only way it's going to work, is, like, if I'm going to get these aligned, I have to pick one of them to loose them. Because this one either needs to come down... Or this one needs to go up, and I physically cannot possibly get either of them tighter. So, let's see. Oh my gosh, this has been the worst part of this build by far. Do I have any more grease? Yes, but... I, let me, I might try this method and see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Ah, uh, I feel like that's just not good for the plastic parts to torque them like that. Matthew, what's up, dude? Um... Okay, see, this one, I got this one to the point where, there, this one can come on and off, loosely, whatever. That's about as tight as it can go. Let's check out this side. Don't tell me that I'm going to end in a position where, like, both of their maximum tightnesses are opposite of where they need to be aligned with each other. If that even makes sense. Oh, jeez. the worst I uh, I don't know how much more I can do with this I am like stuck on this piece for real my hands are just sweating and aching jeez this is how come nobody mentions this in the reviews everybody just raves about this thing in the reviews they're like oh it goes together so easily this is not easy this is the opposite of easy this is painful. Oh my gosh, I just... I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. They're both at maximum tightness, at least for what I can do, and I can't get them to align like that. Oh. What's up, Javon? How's it going? Can you film a rock crawling snow video? I plan on it, yeah. I, I definitely want to get this thing done during winter and be able to make like some snow videos. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's experiment. I'm probably going to break these parts off right now. All right, hmm, here's an idea. If this works, I can just twist these opposite ways right now. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go slowly and try to make sure I don't damage the plastic. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay, wait. How close are we? Mm. 
I still feel like the plastic would bend or bow or break before... Oh, yeah. I was definitely just, like, bending the plastic. That's not good. I wish these things were bigger around. Are these any bigger? Not really. Or... Ah, oh, man. Yeah, seriously, broken parts. No, no. <laughs> Here's... I, I need to finish this part, because if I have to come back tomorrow and just, like, pick up and start my day with this, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. I just need to get this part done and out of the way. And, uh, it's just what needs to happen. Kenneth, I'll see you later, dude. I'm at the point where I can't even get them loosened at all. Like, guys, you know what I think I'm honestly going to have to do here? Ugh. I think what I'm going to do is... Here's what we'll do right now. Okay. We're going to skip this for the moment. We can start putting these on to our differential assembly. And then when I hit this, I think we'll end the stream here. And I'm going to see if my roommate can help me at all with this. I'm going to see if Kevin has any better luck with this. My thumb is legit. I'm not trying to sound dramatic, but my right thumb is actually fatter than the other one right now. It is actually getting swollen from... Uh, it's actually getting swollen from all this, like, twisting against this. So that's that's probably when you know it's time to stop. So, all right. Let's just grab our differential. Or wait, does this have to go on in a specific order, though? Because it looks like this needs to go on first. So then this screw can come in. Yeah, I, I, my mind is starting to feel completely fried right now, guys. <laughs> I need to stop. Um, here's what I'm going to do. We'll pick up tomorrow. There's a chance that when we start tomorrow that I'm already going to be done with this step here. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. But right now, I feel like if I just keep going any longer, like... <laughs> I'm going to have a mental breakdown. I just need to, uh, to relax. Maybe one day I can do two streams a day. I wouldn't rule it out. I just gotta adjust my sleeping schedule, wake up earlier, and work smarter. Yeah, basically that. Yeah, work smarter. I'm, stop complicating my life. Think of it this way. If it's that hard to get on, it won't come apart easily. Screw it on as good as you can to make sure it's on far enough. Good enough. Works for me. Yeah, I'll see uh, Kevin has some strong hands. He's probably got stronger hands than I do, so uh, I'll see if he can make these align the way they need to. And then uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll do this off stream, or I don't know. Oh, and then we got to do this too. Maybe I'll do this off stream so that way tomorrow is just ready to go. I don't know. I need to do some planning here. If you want to add me on Discord, I can tell you how to fix the issue. Yeah, Onyx, what's your Discord name? I'm watching up my Discord right now. Do I listen to XXX Tenacion? No. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, I got my Discord up and running. Um, 
Onyx, send me a friend request or whatever it is on there. Uh, I'm not going to chat immediately with you, Onyx. I got to get out of this room for a second. It's getting hot in here. I just need to, like, step out for a second and chill for a moment. But, uh, oh, my thumb feels like crap. <laughs> uh, Onyx, we're friends on Facebook, right? Okay, Onyx Legion. All right, add me on Discord or whatever, Onyx. Uh, I'll try to find you, and if we can't make it work, just hit me up on Facebook Messenger. For now, guys, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me here today, watching me struggle here for the last three hours. Um, we made a little bit more progress today. It's It's been slow progress, but progress nonetheless. Uh, we're going to pick back up here in the same spot tomorrow, and I'd say we're we're probably about a quarter of the way through. At this rate, this would be like eight days of building, maybe seven or six, depending on the rate we go at. But we're on step uh, eight out of about 50, so <laughs> we're we're getting there. All right, so uh, you should make one of the camera angles straight on, looking right at you. Well, that's what this one's for. Or do you not like it at the angle? Would you... I can't... It can't really be straight on because, you know, if it were straight on, it would be... This thing would be in the way. Right up here, you can see it. So, I just kind of had it at a cocked angle. Anyways, yes, one step closer. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here, supporting me, keeping me sane, keeping me, you know, calm, relaxed. Uh, I appreciate it. So, on that note, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Hopefully, I'm going to get this thing figured out right now. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Peace out.